And when I'm checking out, she told me I was special. I mean, thank you. <laughs> hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Picked this up at a garage sale today, and as I'm checking out and giving her my dollar, actually it was $11 because I bought something else, but she says to me, it takes a special kind of person to buy that. <laughs> That's what she says to me. And I'm like, I'm special. Uh, they are doll wigs, and they were six for a dollar, and they're vintage. How could I not buy these amazing doll wigs this one is in the original packaging uh is that a t talina's doll supplies i gotta look it up but it's made in hong kong it's it says the doll size the color the style i mean all the information is right there so it looks like it's two braids just adorable and maybe some bangs that are curled up super super cute okay so that's the first one uh talina's t-a-l-l-i-n-a-s now um, again, you know, they're just not like, here's 13, a lot of, or no wait, I'm sorry, a lot of 10 size 13. And what's nice about these is they do tell on the packaging what size doll they fit. So that really helps. But look, all of these wigs, 15 for $13.95. So just not going for much. Now, mine, um, has the two pigtails, the braids that go down the back. And I didn't really see any others that looked like mine. So um, we'll see. We'll just have to see. Look at these. There are some crazy wigs, right? The second one is in this tidy little container here. And um, I actually got this. Oh, okay. Maybe this isn't a wig. Remember the dress that I sold? Um, the bolo dress? I got that from this same sale. Okay, so this is just random and a little a little weird. I hope that's not real hair, but um, I don't know what I'll do with that. I may just put that one to the side. Uh, we have this one right here in a Ziploc bag. Now, this one's going to be a little trickier because I'm not seeing any information here. Let me see if I can get this open. So I took it out of the bag. It says 14 to 15 inch doll. So that's great. I can look it up that way. This one is called Playhouse and it's made in Japan. I mean, who wouldn't buy these for a dollar? All of them for a dollar. How awesome is that? So I should be able to look that up, but it's more of just like, I don't know, it's doll hair. The next brand is the Playhouse doll wig brand. Look at this, large lot, all of these for $98, 33 of them for $45. These are human hair. <laughs> is that crazy or what? So they really don't go for a whole lot. I would say you're better off um, parting them out and selling them individually. You're gonna make more. This one didn't too bad, do too bad. 23.50, 28 on that one. So some of them do okay. All right. Oh boy, here we go. We got some curly locks here. Um, super, super cute. I think they're adorable. Uh, not creepy at all, but this fits a 14 inch doll. No branding whatsoever on this just says 14 inches. So, I mean, somebody who makes dolls and collects them or has a doll with damaged hair. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So they counted this one. I would say that's not really one. Oh my goodness. It's a bun. Oh, it's so cute with a little like side things here let's see what this says oh i can't read it that's unfortunate um don't know what that one says that is definitely for a smaller doll um is it maybe five inch made in korea oh here we go on the side maybe we're gonna get the information playhouse collection gibson eight to nine inch oh good and it's blonde so original box super cute and it's a bun the last item says by global dolls hand styled doll wigs and this one is curly mary francis 13 to 14 inch doll strawberry blonde made in the philippines 
Here's the information again. And of course I was getting these for a buck and it's got the little hair net, but it's coming off. So let's just take a look at it here. Cute, look at the color. Oh, that's such a pretty color. And um, it looks like it's got some bangs and then just cute little part with the bows on the side. This one might be missing the bow. I don't know what's happening here. Um, there's something right here. Yeah, I think the bow might be missing on this one. And down here on the inside, let's see what this tag says. It's hard to do this with one hand. Um, Global Dolls, made in, let's see if it's Japan, USA. Oh, I cannot find it. Made in the Philippines. So, pretty cute, right? Would you have picked up the doll wigs? What's this? Just paper. All right, so that's what I got for a buck. What do you guys think? The Mary Frances, um, the wig that had the bow on just one side, that is the one that I had an offer on. This is the exact, well, I think it's the exact one that I have listed. They sold it for 10 or $9.95 plus shipping. I personally think that they undersold it. I am going to hold out for more. I have mine up for auction right now. I believe somebody sent me a $15 offer and I declined it because I have it up for auction. Now, based on these comparables, 15 was probably a decent price and I probably should have taken it, but I feel like I've got the original box. It's an excellent new old stock condition and I'm going to hold out for the right buyer. Okay. And I do that sometimes. I just, I do. Sometimes I look back and I'm like, I should have taken the offer. We'll see if it sells. So I will keep you guys posted on that. It should hopefully be in a what sold a video in the future. Okay, Bola Buddies, let's talk about some doll wigs. Would you have picked these items up? So when I picked them up, I wasn't really sure if they were going to be big money, bread and butter. I assumed bread and butter, but I thought for six wigs for $1, that it was definitely worth taking a chance. And when I'm checking out, she told me I was special. I mean, thank you. <laughs> All right, let's talk about some of these wigs and the different brands and which ones go for big money and which ones are just bread and butter. At six for a buck, I'm definitely gonna make some money. The one item I already had an offer on and we will talk about that, maybe I should have took it. So you guys let me know what you think. All right, the first item here, this one went for $65. It says large antique dark brown, brown ah, <laughs> large antique dark blonde mohair doll wig. Um, I, that looks brown to me, but I guess dark blonde maybe, but look here, it has a plaster. It says pate. I think that means plate. I think that's a typo. Um, but I'm guessing this was maybe on an old antique doll and it sold for $65. This one here is antique vintage lot of three doll wigs, blonde curly. So I don't know why these went for more, but what I wanted to draw your attention to was how like ratty the inside was of these. I mean, you can tell they're very, very old, kind of like, um, those old hats when the insides go bad, but they still sell right there. So I guess that's one way to know they're old. Those three wigs went for $94. This is antique human hair, blonde doll wig with curls, 11 inch doll. Um, this one went for $129.99. So, the real hair, the actual human hair dolls definitely seem to be the ones that are higher dollar. Now, I went into this seller's feedback and I put doll wig. And here is what I want to show you. These are all solds. So we've got $16, 94, 10, 10, 10, $129.99, $19.98, $12.99, 14 dollars and this person obviously specializes in doll wigs and you can see that they've only sold three or four for big money. Most of them are bread and butter, 
bolos. So should you source for doll wigs? My answer to that would be, if you can source them cheap, like six for a dollar, yeah, go ahead. You're going to make some money. Um, but unless they're really old or really special, they're probably not going to be a big money bolo based on this research. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. I'm going to call this one of my category bolo videos. I have a whole bunch of these where I pick a category and I research it. So check out some of those. Um, I've got bathroom bolos, items you find in the bathroom. Those are really good. So go check those out. Those are great for like estate sales. All right, you guys, there's going to be some videos popping up here and here and a subscribe and another little, another video down below. Leave me an emoji of an owl, like whoo, whoo, in the comments or just write owl. And let me know what you think about sourcing doll wigs. Are you going to be looking for them or are you going to pass them if you see them? Thanks for watching.